So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a modded outfit for the female character. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, you want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. When you're ready to start the glitch, just come over here to the clothing store, put on the outfit that you don't want to lose, set your spawn location to your last location, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap character. Now this outfit is only going to be for the female characters and make sure that your female character is on the left side and this will not work for the male character so this is only for female characters. Also if you don't got the green joggers don't worry about it you're going to get the green joggers from doing the glitch so if you don't got them don't worry about it because the glitch is going to give you the green joggers. So when you get in here all you want to do is go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to walk in and then you're going to get the edit option for your second character. Once you see the edit option for your second character, just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you if you want to copy your stuff over. So just go ahead and accept it. Once your second character comes in here, if it ended up being a female like mine, change it into a male. If it's already a male, just leave it as a male. Go ahead and save and continue and then make a name for it. Once you make the name for it and take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. For me, it's going to play it, but for some of you guys, it may not play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. And also, just real quick, if you already haven't, make sure you drop a like on the video. You can share after you're done watching it and you can comment, but you don't got to. If it works for you, you can comment down in the comment section if you want to. So once you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online, find a new session or just with sessions, and then the clothing stores are going to be in that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores, just make your way over to the nearest one. So if you don't see any clothing stores, just with sessions or find a new session, and the clothing stores are going to be in that session. But if you do see the clothing stores, just make your way over to the nearest one. So once you get inside the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to track jackets, and buy the green track jacket. So come over here to the top section, go to track jackets, and buy the green track jacket. So once you got that, you want to back out, stay in the top section, go to tank tops, and buy the Camo Smugglers Tank Top. So just come over here or just in the top section, go to Tank Tops and buy the Camo Smugglers Tank Top. Once you got that, make your way over to the pants section, go to the shorts and buy the white boxer shorts. So just come over here to the pants section, go to the shorts and buy the white boxer shorts. So these right here, just go ahead and buy them. Once you got that, make your way over to the shoes, go to the sneakers and buy the pink plain high tops. So just come over here to the shoes, go to the sneakers and buy the pink plain high tops, which should be the first ones. Once you got that, just go ahead and go save the outfit. Someone shot up the clothing store, so I had to um, go to the other clothing store, but I'm going to fast forward this part of the video till we get to the other clothing store. But anyway, once you got the um, pink plain high tops, just go ahead and save the outfit and when you save it remember make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character so for example let's say that the outfit that you don't want to use on your main character is on slot 20 or like slot 17 or something you will just save this outfit inside of a different slot so just save it in an empty slot that's on your main character what the shit?
so once you're done saving the outfit just go ahead and back out open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out Once you spawn outside, just hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you get inside a creator, click on create a race, and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. They don't gotta be um, anything specific, and then go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two, and then set the route type on point to point. Once you got that, hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, back out of that, and then click on the checkpoints. Now, it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you um, place down, as long as the race is one mile long, so just go ahead and make the race 1.00 miles long. Once you got that, hit your back button twice, so either B or circle, and it's going to give you the option to test out the race, and you just want to go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're going to get that completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. Once you get in here, all you want to do is go over to your second character and you're going to the leader or him, my bad. So make sure you go over to your second character with the um, outfit on and you're going to delete him. You don't want to delete your main character by accident. Make sure you go over to your second character that got the outfit on and you're going to delete him. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to walk in. From here, just hit your back button again, so be a circle and it's going to take you into single player. Once you get loaded inside a single player, just hit your pause button, go to online, and go to play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session.
so once you get loaded inside your online session the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose Hello. because it's not going to be saved so make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose and when you save it make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits but anyway once you got that you just want to go ahead and back out go to the That's deadline right. suits and buy the off. green deadline suit so just go to the outfit and buy the green deadline suit so this one right here once you got that just go ahead and back out get your pass button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and start up crooked cops and when you start up crooked cops make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or a random so if you don't put the um, clothing on player owned the glitch will not work so make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random when you get loaded inside the mission just go to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once so go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once and then ready up Once you get loaded inside the mission, all you're going to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one you bought from ammunition, and then just go ahead and back out, open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you get loaded inside your online session, just go ahead and come down here to ammunition and you're going to leave a space in between this and the component and then save the outfit. So just come inside the ammunition, leave a space underneath the component and then save this outfit. So this is what I was talking about when I said leave a space in between it. Once you save it, you're just gonna go ahead and make your way over to the top section, go to the utility vest, and buy the ice plate carrier. So just come over here to the top section, which should be to the left, go to the utility vest, and buy the ice plate carrier. So this vest right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you got that, you guys go ahead and save it in between the um, component and the outfit. So just save it in the spot that you left the space in. So once you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and start up crooked cops. When you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch will not work, so make sure you put it on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. When you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits, hit right on the d-pad three times, and then hit left on the d-pad twice so just come down to owned outfits hit right on the d-pad three times and left on the d-pad twice and then just go ahead and ready up So once you get inside of here, all you're going to do is open up your interaction menu again, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and then put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. And once you got that, open up your phone and quit the job from your phone.
once you get loaded inside your online session from here just go ahead and go save the outfit once you save it you can keep this and the other version without the vest but you can delete the component because you can't use that or equip it so you can save this so make sure you definitely save this with the vest and you can also keep the one without the vest and uh, make sure you delete the component because you can't use the component but that's gonna be it for this video Hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos